Hello, today I am going to be presenting the R package, ctrials.gov, a uh, package which uh, provides access, visualization, and discovery of the clinicaltrials.gov database. Uh, so this package is a collaboration between myself, Taylor Arnold at the University of Richmond, Michael Kane at Yale University, and Austin Way at Cleveland Clinic. I can currently be installed using dev tools from our GitHub website um, and should be installed, um, installable on CRAN uh, by the end of the month. Clinicaltrials.gov, uh, what is it? So it's um, a website which provides a database of clinical studies from around the world. Um, it's maintained by the U.S. National Library of Medicine and the NIH. Uh, the website does a really great job of documenting and making available different forms of this database. Um, you can easily download a dump of the entire thing online. Um, however, there are two challenges that we have found um, in working with this database uh, if we want to do visualizations and analysis of many different trials. Um, so the two challenges are, uh, first, that the data are normalized across dozens of different tables, um, and you need a lot of expertise to actually put them back together. Um, and secondly, a lot of the most interesting data that we want to work with uh, within the database it's actually contained inside of free text fields and requires using some text analysis techniques to actually extract them. Um, so here's an example of the schema. I've rotated it 90 degrees just so that we can uh, see the entire thing. So you get a sense of the complexity and all the number of different tables which are contained in the, the clinicaltrials.gov data, database. It's very well documented, but you have to put it back together to really do much analysis with it. Um, and here's an example of uh, one trial is actually from the website uh, interface, um, and you can see, again, very well documented, but a lot of the interesting fields are in these free text fields, such as the brief summary and the, the study population. Um, so the goal of the package is to provide a set of tools which allow us to easily uh, query the clinicaltrials.gov uh, database from within R um, and return a single combined data frame that we can then use for analysis and visualization. Um, and the package also provides some helper functions, uh, which can allow us to visualize and explore the results, and in particular, some functions for working with the free text fields. Um, so I'm going to give a brief overview of the usage of the package and some of the, the most common options that you might be interested in, um, and then I'll ex explain some of the, the post-processing text analysis tools. So the first step in using the package uh, is that we need to load a version of the, uh, the database into, uh, the pack, into the into your R memory. Um, and so there are three ways to do this. I'll explain them in increasing order of complexity. Um, so the simplest one is to use the ctgov underscore load underscore sample function. So this loads a small 2% version of the database, which we package uh, inside of the package. Um, and so uh, this is really great for prototyping. We use it in all of our tests and all of our examples, and I also use it in this presentation. Um, it just it requires no external resources and it runs pretty quickly. Uh, the second way to build a, a data set, which we'll then query from, um, and this is the one we expect most people will probably want to use, um, is to load an entire, the entire data set. Usually if you're working with this, you wanna see all the clinical trials. Um, but um, rather than having to produce it yourself, downloading a static version from our GitHub website, and we create this uh, static version every month. Um, so this function, uh, ctgov load cache, will download, if it hasn't already, um, the, uh, the large files from our GitHub uh, uh, package release, um, and then we'll load them into memory and then do all of the queries off of that. Uh, the third one, which is the best if you really want an up-to-date version, of the database, say you wanna run this to run a report on a daily basis. Um, so this one actually connects to a, um, a database backend. So here a PostgreSQL backend, um, which has been populated with the clinicaltrials.gov uh, database. So this could either be through their API or, la or uh, loading the entire data dump and running it locally. Um, this takes a few minutes because it actually has to do some processing of the data, but then you have a completely up-to-date version of the database. And this is actually the function we use to create the other ones. Uh, so regardless of which way you uh, populate the database, the sample, the static dump, or creating it from scratch, all the other functions work the same, the same way. Um, it just uh, They're just working off of different versions of the database. 
Um, so querying the data, once we've loaded it, um, they all work through this function on ctgov underscore query, this is kind of the main function within the package. Um, and we can provide different um, options for this query to query different fields of the database to return different subsets of clinical trials. Um, so that I'll show you the three different types of fields, although I won't document the over 20 different things that you can search by, uh, but that's all in the documentation. Um, so some of the, the fields are categorical, so study type, for example, and it only has three or four different um, uh, things that it can be equal to. So we'll search for it here in, as an example, interventional studies, and it will return a single data frame of all of the interventional studies which are in that sample data set. Um, another categorical one is the sponsor type, and here we would get all of the interventional studies which are produced by industry partners. And the other kind of uh, uh, query that we might do is on some of the, of the continuous variables. So for example, the number of people enrolled in each trial. Continuous values are queried by providing a vector with two parameters, uh, the lower bound and the upper bound. So this would give us all studies which contain between 40 and 42 patients. Um, setting one of the bounds to missing, um, just only uh, searches on one bound rather than the other. So this would return all studies with at, uh, a thousand patients or more. Um, and then a similar interface exists for dates where we provide the date in an ISO format. Um, and then the third way that we can query the database is using keywords. So here we'll search um, for the keywords um, lung cancer and it will return all of the studies which in our description field um, use the phrase lung cancer. By default, this is case insensitive, but we can make it case sensitive by setting a flag. We can also pass multiple uh, keywords at once. Uh, by default, it will take the union of those search results, but we can set a flag to look at their intersection. Um, and then finally, we can put multiple, we can put many of these together if we would like, either in a single query call. So this would get all of the cancer studies with a certain enrollment range and a certain date range. Um, or we can actually uh, use the ctgov underscore query function in a pipe. Um, and rather than if we pipe in a data set to the query function, uh, rather than working off the entire data set, it will work off of something we've already queried. And uh, through user testing, we found this is actually one um, popular way of using the package to sort of slowly pare down the set of studies we're looking at one by one rather than having one single query. Um, and then actually by pasting together these results, we can get more complex um, types of queries than we can get from just a single call. So I'll, I'll finish up here by showing some of the, the tools in the package for doing text analysis on the results of doing the query function. Um, so we have three different uh, text analysis tools. So one is uh, keywords in context. Um, so this takes a vector of, of text, a vector of characters, um, and shows us all occurrences of a certain term. So here, for example, we can see all occurrences of the word bladder in uh, the brief titles of the interventional studies. Um, from the sample data set. And we can also put on an ID there if we want to actually link it back to the original study. This TF-IDF, um, so this it uses um, a computational technique to determine uh, automatically generated uh, keywords for each uh, trial. So here, for example, um, we'll pass up the descriptions and it will figure out which words are most specific to each trial and then we'll generate a set of automatically generated keywords. Um, we can choose to respect case if we want, and we've actually found this is often uh, more readable than, the, than uh, ignoring case. Um, this is just a very fast way of being able to look at um, the text fields without having to read the entire text fields, and we can kind of summarize them and, uh, and quickly visually inspect which ones maybe we want to look at more closely. Um, and then we can also set parameters so we can get rid of particularly rare terms. So maybe a drug that only appears once, maybe we don't care about that as much and we want to look at terms which might occur in multiple studies. And there are a number of different parameters to control this based on what you're looking for. Um, and then finally, we have a technique for document similarity. Um, so this takes a set of um, text fields and tells us which ones are most like the other ones. And this is particularly useful if we have a study that we're interested in, we can find all of the other studies, which based on the text in their fields tend to be the most similar. And then we can visually inspect them and find other trials that might be interesting to us based on um, their description or their design or um, their interventions. So that's a very brief introduction to the C-Trials.gov package. Um, 
remember you can download it from our GitHub website. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, we welcome them through uh, GitHub issues or directly.